I am Joellen, and today we're diving into the Saint Number no. 8 collection. Now, what is that? That is a pre built palette with eight foundation singles and a 3D brush. Now, what's really great about 3D makeup, the Saint makeup, is that everything is customizable. So, when you get your package in the mail, you're going to get a bunch of tins like this, and you're going to get an empty palette, and you're going to get your brush. And what you can do is you just take your tin and you slide the lid off and you are going to slide it off and then put it into the magnetic compact. You're going to slide it right in, pop it right in, and it will stay put <clears throat> until you need to take it out. And when you have gone through all of your makeup, it's months down the road and it's empty, then you can just pop it right back out. You can take your little tin lid and just pop it right back out and take it out and replace as needed. Okay, so that is how you set up your compact, but how do you use all of these colors on your face? Where do you even get started? So I'm gonna break it down for you. There is a Saint number no. four collection that just comes with four um, foundation singles and then there is this number eight that comes with eight and then there's a number 12 that comes with all of your face colors plus eye colors so it's, it's basically you get to choose what your needs and your preferences are this is a good one for more someone who wants more coverage or who likes a little bit more makeup who wants more options who wants a little bit more to choose from so this number eight is a great place to start as well now, why do you need all of these colors? Let me break it down for you. So you understand what you're putting on your face and where it all goes. So in the number eight collection, you're gonna, you're gonna get three highlights. And there are different levels, so depending on what level you chose will depend on what colors you got. I, For reference, I'm a level four, but I could easily be a level three or even a level two depending on the time of year. But it comes with three highlight colors, which is basically your foundation color, your skin color. And it comes with three because it allows you to get the coverage that you need. So let's say you have more sun exposure during the year and you are darker, then you can use your darker highlight. If it's the winter time and you're not getting as much sun exposure and your skin is lighter, then you can use the lighter highlight. You can also use these all at the same time if you have different parts of your face that you want to cover like my chin and my nose and underneath my eyes are just darker than the rest of my face and so I would need a darker color to correct those colors and get the coverage that I need whereas I like a brightening color for underneath my eyes to brighten that area or let's say that you have some blemishes or something you can use different colors to provide different types of coverage it's really great to have the versatility the flexibility the options to get the coverage that you need. Instead of just one bottle of color of foundation and you put it all over your face, it's gonna look textured and chalky in some areas because our face has different colors. And so it's nice to have different shades to provide different coverage on different parts of your face. And then this one is your contour. This is gonna add that shape, shadow, dimension. It's gonna make you look more youthful and more alive. And then on their second level, you have two different lip and cheek colors. They can be used on your lips and your cheeks and even as eyeshadow too. So it's very versatile. You can use on its own. You can layer to make a different color. It's really cool. And then you have your illuminator, which is to add some shimmer and some shine and glow to your face. So you would apply that on top of your cheekbones, on above your lip, underneath your, your brows. Don't worry though, I will show you. And then the last, foundation single is bronzer and this is what you can do to add some sunkissed glow to your face to make you look a little bit more uh, tan and like you have a little bit more color than normal <laughs> so this is called 3d foundation because it adds dimension to your face so instead of putting foundation all over your face and erasing your natural shadows you are putting the shape and shadow back into your face and you're looking more youthful and more alive and more you. 
instead of like a kicky mess. And it's all applied in one layer. So it's kind of like paint by numbers. You apply certain colors just on certain parts of your face and then you blend it. And so instead of having like four to five layers of makeup on your face when you're done, you have one layer, but your foundation comes in different colors. So you're getting the coverage that you need, but you're not getting the cakiness and the heaviness and the fakeness that comes with adding all the layers. So it's awesome. So that's the the lowdown on this Saint number no. eight palette. But how do you apply it? Let's say that you are my customer, you just got this in the mail, and you're like, okay, where do I begin? Or let's say that you are interested in it and you kind of want to see how it goes before you make the investment. Let me show you. Now, this collection comes with the 3D brush comes with a pointy end and also comes with a more rounded end. Both are pretty dense and really great to work with blending cream makeup. Do you need a brush when you buy this makeup? Absolutely yes. You need one of the brushes because they are specifically made to work with cream makeup and they work beautifully. So there are different methods techniques of applying this makeup. And I wanna say that there's really no wrong or right way. There's a lot of artists out there who are showing their different techniques and that's great. And so I'm gonna show you a couple different techniques and I just wanna empower you and educate you so that you know how to apply it and then you get to choose. Like some women like to apply their highlight first and then their contour. Some like to apply their contour and then their highlight. Some like to use the pointy end to apply their contour or the pointy end to apply their highlight and the round end to do, you know, either one. And there's no wrong or right way. It's just a matter of preference. It's a matter of what works best for your needs, for your face shape, for how much makeup you want. So I'm just gonna show you a few ways that you can do it and then you can choose and you can decide what works best for you. So let's get into it. I'm gonna do half of my face um, applying and blending with the brush and then I will do the other half of my face applying with my fingers and blending with the brush. And then you can choose which way works best. So I'm gonna use these three highlight colors in different ways. Um, I'm gonna go for my darker color. Um, I'm gonna do the finger painting method first on one side and then I'll do the other side with the brush. So I'm just going to take this darker color right along my jawline area. If I was a man, this would be my, like, my bearded area. And I'm just going to apply it right where um, I would be applying my foundation. I'm going to stay away from this part because that's where I'm gonna be putting my contour. And because it's cream or a 3D foundation, it's all foundation, but it's just different shades. So I'm just kind of doing a little amount of color just where I want some more coverage. So right along my jawline, my chin, my nose, a little bit right here on my cheek, a little on my upper lip, a little on my forehead, just kind of pat it on and just make be messy because it's okay because we're gonna blend. Um, because I have darker circles under my eyes, I'm also gonna apply a little of this darker color under my eye and I will layer a lighter color on top of this. So this is one area where I know I just said it's one layer of makeup, but underneath my eyes, I do two layers just to get that coverage. Um, so I'm doing the, 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 the dark color first, and then I will go back over with the light color. All right, so now I'm gonna go with a light color, and I'm gonna put right there on top, and right there. And I'm gonna do this medium color right here. You can kind of just see what works best for you. You can even like, um, dip into all three and create your own custom color. Let's say you're kind of in between colors. That's what's great about having three different colors in your compact is you can create your own color. And then I'm gonna go into my um, my contour and I'm gonna draw a line right along my cheekbone. I'm gonna start at my hairline and go to about the corner, outer edge of my eye. And I'm also gonna do right here along my hairline and also right here along the side of my nose and the great thing about um, cream makeup is that if you put too much on you can just blend it out it's really forgiving I'm also doing around along my my jawline all right so there I have all of those colors now I'm gonna go in to my 
blush color. I'm gonna put it right, right there, right above my contour. All right, so now I'm gonna take my brush and I'm going to just lightly blend in circular motions that cream makeup out. And like I said, this is cream makeup, so it is very forgiving. It blends like butter and it just provides great coverage and makes it look very natural. It's not cakey. It just melts into your skin, giving you that second skin look. So I'm just focusing on, on um, blending out the highlight skin color first. Okay, and then I'll go into my contour. Now I'm just blending and tapping that into my skin. If you feel like you put too much on, it's okay, just blend more out. And I'm gonna show you another tool in just a second that will really help with that. Really help give you a nice flawless finish and a good blended look. All right, so now I have most of it all blended. Blend down here. And this bad boy is going to be your best friend. You need a makeup sponge in your collection. This does not come with this um, Saint Number 8 collection. Something that you need to uh, buy separately, but it is something that you are going to use so much in your makeup application. It will just give you a nice um, finish. It will just press that makeup into your skin and it will help you look more flawless and natural. All right, so that part of my face is done. I did that side with doing the finger painting method and blending with the brush. Now let's do this side of my face, just fully blend, um, applying and blending with the brush. So I'm gonna go back into my, my highlight colors. I'm gonna go that dark one first. I like the pointy edge for applying underneath my eye, it gives me a little bit more um, control. I know I said that some women like to use a pointy end for their contour, some like to do it for their highlight. There's no wrong or right. You do what you prefer. And you could take this and like do like a, a line and let it sit and then you can blend later or you can just blend and apply as you go. There's lots of different ways to do this. I just want to teach you so that you have the knowledge and the education to know how to do it on your own and then you can figure out what you prefer. I like to do a darker color on my nose because my skin on my nose and my chin are darker so I like that coverage and then if I want to go back later to brighten it, I can do a, a light layer of a lighter color if I want to. All right, now I'm gonna do this medium color right here. If you're noticing that your makeup is not blending very well, or if it's looking textured, or you kind of look like a ghost, then your makeup is too light. If you're noticing that your makeup is looking orangey on you, then that means that your makeup is too dark. So just keep that in mind as you play around with the colors um, to know what colors are gonna be good for you. So let's say you have all three of your colors and you're applying um, your dark color on your cheek and you're like, whoa, that's looking really orange. Then you know to go choose a lighter color so that you are getting a better um, color for that area. All right, so now I have put that highlight all over real quickly. Now I'm going to use this part of my brush and I'm going to apply my contour. And I'm just going to follow that cheekbone and pat it along there. Some women like to squish it to get a little bit more um, shape and like control of the brush, or you can just do it like this. It's, it's whatever you want to do. You just want to focus on putting the colors right where you want them, all right? 
And then if you feel like, okay, I got a little too sloppy, you can take your brush and you can just clean it up. That's really cool about cream makeup is that it's very forgiving. It's very customizable. You can add more if you want to. If you want more coverage, just add more color. All right, so now I'm gonna swap the sides of my compact. I'm gonna go into my blush color, put it right on my apples and my cheeks. And then I'm gonna take the Perfector sponge and blend and dab and pat that product into my face. It will help um, pick up any of the excess makeup, maybe put too much on, maybe you have a harsh line from your contour. It'll just help blend it out better and make it look more natural. Um, also, I forgot to do my other side of my nose. So I'm gonna do that real fast. Then you can take a lighter color and put it right along the bridge of your nose. And that provides a little bit more slimming effect. A little reverse contour, pat that in. And if you are oily, then you definitely want to set your makeup with powder, whether it's loose or a pressed powder. Um, that's gonna be your best friend for making your makeup last all day, not making you so shiny. All right, and then I'm gonna take this illuminator. And with cream illuminator, it's easiest to apply it with your finger. So you just take that and you apply it right on the top of your cheekbone. And this will add just a nice pretty glow when the light hits your face. It's not like a little girl sparkly glittery glow. It's nice glistening Greek goddess glow. I don't know if you can see that. It just has a nice little um, pretty glow right there. And you can do it right here on the bow of your lip. You can even do the little tip of your nose if you want to. And you can do it underneath your, your eyebrow. It's kind of wherever you want to highlight and add some color, not color, um, add a little glow to your, to your face. All right, and the last color in my compact is the bronzer. Now this is where, so contour, you want to add contour to the places where your face has natural shadows. So your cheekbones and your forehead and along your jawline and along your nose, that's where you wanna add contour. But for bronzer, bronzer is not adding shape and shadow, it's adding warmth and adding color. Like as if you had been out in the sun all day and you need a little bit, you got a little bit of sun and it got a little bit bronze look. So you wanna apply bronzer on top of your cheekbones and your cheek. So any part of your face that sticks up more, that the sun would naturally hit. So your nose, your chin, and your forehead. Those are the areas that you want to um, focus on bronzer. And just adding just a little bit, because you don't want to look like too unnatural. Um, but the great thing about this bronzer is it is very natural looking. It's not like an Oompa Loompa orange. It is um, very natural brown, a warm brown, not an orangey brown. I think that's where a lot of bronzers get it wrong is they get too too brown or too orange and it looks very unnatural. All right, so at this point you can kind of like take a step back and be like, okay, I look good, I'm done. Or if you wanted to add a little bit more at any point, you could take some of your highlight and kind of clean up some edges. You can add some more blush if you want to. You get to just have fun with it and play around with it. Makeup should be quick and easy and also should be enjoyable. The last thing is that I have two lip and cheek colors in my compact and so I put some on my, my cheeks but I didn't put any on my lips. And so I can take the second color that this collection comes with and I can put that right on my lips. And you can use the one color or you can layer them, like I said, and create a different color. So this one's a very like lighter natural color. All of them come with, the collection eight comes with two colors, usually a light and a dark. And so you can layer them or you could just do one or the other cool options. All right, so there you have 
the Saint Collection 8 in a nutshell. It comes with four foundation singles, three highlights, one contour, two lip and cheek colors, an illuminator, and a bronzer, all to your skin tone. So there are different levels that you can choose. You can go online and choose your shade and do it all on your own. Or if you want, my professional opinion on knowing what colors will look best on you, then you can fill out my makeup survey that is in my profile. I'm happy to help. But either way, this is so easy. Like all of your makeup fits in one compact. It is a beautiful thing. It's so quick and easy. One brush, one compact. You can have your makeup done so quickly. So I hope that gave you some good ideas on how to use the makeup. And there's no wrong or right way. It's just a matter of what you like to do. So let me know if you have any questions. Fill out my form if you want specific help. And you can find all of the ways to shop in the description or in my profile. Have a fabulous day. Ciao.